Hey, robotics fans, buckle up because the past few days have dropped some seismic shift in the robotics world. Unitree's G1 humanoid robot just got a jaw-dropping upgrade with a system called AMO, and it's turning heads by cleaning houses, picking up toys, opening fridges, and even loading dishwashers like it's been your roommate for years. This isn't just a robot, it's a game-changer, and we're diving into why this is the most exciting thing in robotics right now. By now, you've probably heard of the Unitree Gone, a sleek humanoid robot that's been making waves. But what's got everyone buzzing isn't its shiny hardware, it's AMO. No, not ammunition, but adaptive motion optimization, a mind-blowing control system that's basically given the G1 a human-like brain for movement. Imagine a robot that doesn't just walk or grab stuff but moves like it gets how to live in your house. It's picking up toys, reaching for high shelves, and sliding dishes into the dishwasher with a smoothness that's honestly a little spooky. So, what makes AMO so special? Let's break it down. Humanoid robots are insanely hard to control. With 29 joints think legs, arms, torso, you name it and crazy physics like balance and momentum, most robots move like they're stuck in a bad dance routine. Old school systems used rigid programming or copied human motion from videos, but they trip over a sock or freeze in a messy room. Amo? It's like giving the robot a PhD in adaptability. Here's the magic, AMMO blends reinforcement learning with trajectory optimization. In simulations, the G1 fails millions of times without breaking a sweat learning to crouch, stretch, twist, or grab stuff without face planting. Then, it takes those lessons into the real world, adapting on the fly. Picture this, G1 bends down to snag a toy, adjusts its balance to slide a bottle onto a high shelf, or crouches to grab a basket all in real time, reacting to whatever chaos your living room throws at it. No pre-programmed moves, just pure instinct like smarts. But it gets wilder. You can strap on a VR headset and guide G1 like it's your avatar in a video game. Move your arms, and it mirrors you perfectly. Let go? It doesn't freeze, it keeps going, understanding the task and finishing it autonomously. Under the hood, AMO's hybrid motion synthesis pipeline mixes human-like arm movements with new torso and leg commands, creating moves no one taught it. It's not copying, it's creating on its own. This thing is next-level flexible. Older robots leaned on clunky waste motors to tilt or reach. G1? It shifts its legs, bends its knees, and uses its whole body to hit angles that'd make other bots topple. It can stretch further, crouch lower, or twist sharper than it was trained to, handling tasks it's never seen before. In one test, it grabbed baskets from the floor, walked forward, and placed them on a shelf at eye level crouching, twisting, reaching, and placing like it's been doing it forever. In another, it twisted 90 degrees to yeet trash into a bin. It even picked up a paper bag by threading its hand through the loop and lifting it without a hitch whether guided by a human or running solo. How'd they pull this off? A two-stage training system. A teacher policy gets all the perfect data, then a student policy learns to mimic it in messy, real-world conditions. The result? A robot that doesn't need a perfect setup to nail it. G1 with AMMO isn't just reacting its planning, adjusting, and executing tasks with a fluidity that feels. Human. No jerky, mechanical vibes here just smooth, deliberate moves that make you forget it's a machine. This is where robotics is headed, not just walking bots, but humanoids with full body dexterity that can handle the unpredictable mess of real life. The G1 with AMMO is stretching, crouching, twisting, and balancing while juggling 29 joints and making it look easy. This isn't a prototype, it's the future, and it's here now. So, what do you think? Is the G1 with AMO about to take over your chores, or is it just the coolest tech flex of 2025? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you want more deep dives into the wildest tech out there, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay curious.